everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gems and Jay. I'm here with my sister Angel. And we are currently live on Facebook right now. If you want to join in on our live streams, if you watch on YouTube, you can go ahead and go in the description below. There will be a link to the page and group, which we both live stream on sometimes, but more so the group. So definitely join the group and every two weeks we live stream Thanks for Feeding. So that's what this is today. So hi everyone, how's it going? <laughs> this is going to be super awesome because we have actual, like, we've rehoused some tarantulas that we haven't shown on the channel yet. So you're going to see some recently rehoused tarantulas. Yeah. So those videos will come out soon on the channel, but yeah, this is currently what's behind us right now. You can't really see my little light, but... I've sorted it out so we can see which is our tarantulas better. So those are mine. Do you want to quickly go get yours? And we're not only feeding just my tarantulas, we're also feeding my little sister's tarantulas. So she's got... How many do you have again? Four. She has four tarantulas, so I kind of knew that. <laughs> she has four tarantulas, I have six. So we're going to be feeding them all today in one video because um, some of them might not be feeding, so we might not do them, but uh, we're going to feed as many as we should, and yeah, we're going to get down to that. So at first I'm going to show you the new ones that have been rehoused. So this is my Brazilian black tarantula. Unfortunately, I won't be saying scientific names because I, I rarely know how to pronounce those. So this is the Brazilian black, so I've rehoused her into this container. There will be a video of rehousing her, but she was in this container. And you, Brazilian blacks, they don't really suit very much in an arboreal enclosure. So this to me just seemed like it fit her more so. She's been in here for about a few days now. Um, she was here originally. She only goes around this area. She she never exposed to her, her wondrous little cave I've provided her. But yeah, we're hopefully going to try feeding her. Just um, When I was closing this, uh, she decided that... Um, she was going to try and bolt out, so I closed it quickly and then realized that that was sticking out, so this isn't actually shut on properly. But thank goodness that these clips actually hold on, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we have actually rehoused my pumpkin patch. So if I take these little guys off. Oh, we've also rehoused the uh, Trinidad of Tiger and Dwarf Pink Leg, which are in here. All we did, we just moved them back into the same enclosures, just we did them because their, their substrate was very damp and it was not suitable, so... Just switch them out and hopefully I'm going to try and not overwater them this time. The Brazilian Red and White is still in the same enclosure. And it actually molted, which is super awesome. I'm not sure where the molt is. Oh yeah, down there. Right down there at the bottom. But there we go. But this is the pumpkin patch. Now I rehoused this because they actually had mites. And I didn't know what kind of mites they were because they were different. More so than what I've seen before. So I put her in this, and it was an excellent rehouse. I did not re record it, unfortunately, because I didn't have the phone with me. So, unfortunately, that is not a recording of it. But here she is on the side. <laughs> look how awesome that is. Just look at how beautiful she is. Oh, my goodness. That little booty. Hopefully, we'll try to feed her today, because we might get some really nice feedings out of her. Yeah, you can put them down. I gotta get the two bigger ones. Yeah. So I've also got these guys as well. Put her to the side. Yes, yeah, so here we are. So this is the newest trench that we have for my little sister for her birthday. It recently molted. Now this is a chestnut baboon. I don't know the full um, pronunciation of the full um, common name, but so I just call it the uh, chestnut baboon. But the they was barking a lot. <laughs> But um, the, her name is Tinkerbell. Yeah, her name is Tinkerbell, and there will actually be a video of my little sister unboxing this tarantula um, on, I think it's going to be Wednesday that video comes out, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'll be back with you in a bit of Okay, okay. But she's like webbed up so much, which is awesome. We expected her to web up a lot, and we wanted to give enough substrate, because these guys are fossil species, so try to make sure that there's enough substrate but also enough uh, cool bug for her to web up and stuff like that so which is really really good so that's awesome so that's one tarantula of hers that's the newest one we haven't yet uh, talked about so that's a little teaser for you guys for a new video that's coming and then here you've got the curly hair which is the uh, which is called Ivy this is my little sister's curly hair it is the true form I don't know where she is down in her burrow but she has eaten recently which is awesome so I'm not sure if we'll be feeding her if she wants to feed or anything like that, but we will definitely check them out when we do feed them if we want to. And then all, all but not last, because I've got another trench I've got to show you, but this is my white knee, my uh, Brazilian white knee. Carefully get it down. 
and I rehoused her because she too had mites. So my pumpkin patch and white knee were next to each other, and I didn't realize that there was leftover food in their enclosure because they hid it. So um, they ended up getting both mites. So I've rehoused my white knee as well into the same enclosure because I didn't have anything else for her to go into because she's a testestral species. So um, I only recently just got new containers uh, for testestral species, but it's too big for her to go in at the moment. But so I just put her back into the same enclosure. Uh, added more substrate because she loves to hide. She's very shy and stuff like that. So as soon as I like open the door, I think she'll go down into a burrow, which I've made for her down there. You probably can't see it because of the lighting, but I made her a burrow down there. And uh, yeah, so it should all be good for her in there. And uh, there's nothing else in that enclosure. That's just set up because we put a trench in there and realized that um, it's not suitable for that enclosure, so we took it out and it's just been left like that. But there we go. That's all the ones that we are going to be feeding. And then we got one extra one. Well, two, extra. two extras. <laughs> so this is Forest, another true curly hair. And then we've got what's her name again? Eclipse. Eclipse yeah. yeah, Eclipse. So this is Eclipse. Uh, you won't be able to see her because she's a sun tiger. She has webbed herself all up in there. Uh, we did try to feed her, but um, when we tried to feed her, we couldn't get our tongues in the right direction to take down the webbing to then give her the food. But we could see like her legs were trying to attack the webbing to get to the food. So we know that she's hungry. We know that for a fact, but she couldn't technically get to the food because the webbings were in the way. So uh, we left food in there, but it's that gone and buried down, down there. And it's attracted mites now because I think it's died and she has not gotten to it. So we're eventually going to have to rehouse this little guy. Um, but we're thinking about maybe rehousing her into one of these enclosures. She is a, a semi arboreal tarantula, so... Uh, we might rehouse her into this one because I think this one might be too much for her. Mm -hmm. That one's a bit bigger, so this one's smaller. And uh, we might be able to have her in there a bit more easier. Because I think maybe give her this one, this tall one here, that Ash used to be in, my Brazilian Whitney. Not my Brazilian Whitney, my Brazilian Black. Uh, rehouse her into this one when um, she's bigger. That way um, she can have more tallness. But yeah, that's just an ideal plan. Did you take some of the webbings down? That's what we tried to feed it before, so I had to web it back up. Oh, I thought she did. Mm -hmm. I thought she did web it back up. No, I still don't know her. Oh, okay. She's webbed up a bit, but she's But what I was thinking is using these tongues, because you can technically go in there, right? And you can go like that. And you can take down the webbings there. And then feed her. Is that an idea? <laughs> I'm probably going to be feeding her okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is all the lot that we're feeding today. Oh my goodness, that's so much. <laughs> Alright, let's put all these guys in a location so we can do them in order. We might do the, um, well, we might do one adult first. So then we can get the legs off that adult and then get those to the slings. And then we work on bigger tarantulas. So I'm going to move you over here. Move you over here. <laughs> and then we're going to put you over here. Carefully. There we go. I forget there's always a handle on there because I'm not used to using a handle. Let's hit my tongs. Ah. So these are the tongs that we got from the T-Wall, by the way. They're super nice. Not these ones because I got these ones from Amazon. But the little ones. They're awesome. They're great for like little slings and stuff. We'll put you up there. There you go, and I guess we'll work on um, probably feeding, you want to feed the pumpkin patch first? Take the legs off that one and then give it to the slings? Yeah. Alright, do you want to get a roach? Uh, make sure it's a uh, medium size-ish because um, she's not overly that big. <laughs> she's still small. She's still a little small, small. But look at her, look how awesome she is. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, she's going to get a roach. I should probably set up my iPad so I can review comments. Because sometimes my phone, well, my mum's phone, uh, doesn't allow comments on the phone. So I am going to be getting the iPad, setting that up so that I can read your comments, guys. So I can do that for a second. Because I need it big enough to be able to rip off the legs. There you go. It was too bright. I've got, like, the little, like... Uh, ring light here so we can like see up close better because uh, it's very dark in my room it's very very dark because uh, it's actually like coming to that time because 
usually during winter times when it's like uh, three o'clock, it gets darker, and so hence, you know, you kind of have to wait that out a bit. Hello everyone in the comment section, and I know that the comments up, I can now see you guys, hi! <laughs> Good, good, good. Looking all good. Hi guys, how's it going? Alright, just gonna be sharing this out now. Just make sure that the lesson gets out there. Yeah, that's a good size. That's a good one. Uh, I could probably just give it to our uh, half pre killed. Alright, we got the channel up. Well, the live stream up right now, so there we go. We'll put that to the side, so I can guys keep on on your uh, comments. And we're going to be feeding this one. Do you want to feed her, or do you want me to do it? Can I squeeze her ahead a bit? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me take off the legs first, because yeah, we need the legs. Yeah, we're, we're taking off legs here. Yep. I'm sorry, but we need your legs. These are quite larger legs than what I'm used to giving. To my slings, but since they're growing up, they're more meat than uh, yeah, they are growing up still, so it's still good for them. Okay, I'll put that one there. Uh, I only need three legs, so it's fine. Oh, pff, well, that didn't work out. It's like, oh my goodness, can I have some legs, please? Oh, I should be fine. I got like a few here, so I got three here, so that's fine. I'll probably give the smallest leg like, two. Um, Probably the Trinidad of Tiger. Mm. Alright, so you ready? Did you squish? Yeah, everyone's good. Alright, do you want to feed or am I feeding? Mm, you can be here. Just get to the cage. Alright, I think I should say. I sometimes forget how it works on iPad for all the comments and stuff. Alright, we are officially live. Good, good, good. Okay, I can see it now. Alright, you ready? You want to pop this and I'll turn on the lights. Uh, actually, there we go. Put the light on and then I'll just speed. Here we are. Here she is. Be careful of the glance that happens here. Are right, we still moving? I might chop it in half, maybe? Huh. But no. We will see if she wants to take it, I guess. But I need to open up the lid. <laughs> Not really worried about it coming out because it's kind of like barricaded itself in, so we shall see how this works out. I'm going to try and see if I can make a dent here. Oh, hello. Let me see if I can throw the food in. Oh! No! <laughs> no, no, we're not having any escapees today. Do you not want it? She might not want to eat because um, she might be too subtle. It might be too big for her actually, as well. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this out here. Out, here we go. Um, it might be the fact that she's been originally in the house. I don't know, maybe. We yet. might skip her then. We might skip her. Uh, we could try later on with a smaller roach if she wants it. Ugh, okay, make sure that's still on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we'll try at a later date. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll try with the smaller one, but right now we'll feed the biggest one to something else. <laughs> so I'll put her in the box. And I'll get my visiting whitening maybe. Yeah, she'll play. She's like there. the biggest. She might be growing faster than my um, actual uh, than my actual brazen and whitening. Well, brazen and black, as I said. I keep getting them mixed up all the time. Oh, something's like Trying to read the comments and it's so difficult with the iPad. I was just trying to get away. <laughs> no.
Oh, I think she senses it moving as well. Ooh, what? She senses the food moving. She's getting closer to where it is. Oh. So she might be hungry. Maybe, hopefully. Mm. Can we be hoping at this? Mm. Doing a great job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Just yep. let you guys know I can't see your comments if you want to say anything. Yeah, I'm going to turn it the other way because it's very hard to see all the, the holes in that. Yeah. And there's holes on that. Yeah, just turn it to the side. Alright. Try and give it this food. The only downside with having the substitute higher up is that she can easily get out very easily. She could bolt out or something like that. So you go into your hide. Try and get that rope in there. Oh, you want this? You want this? Can you see it? Can you see it? Cause she can definitely see it. I'll try and put it on the other end. Oh, dogs are barking. Okay, here you go. Put that there, she will most likely find it herself. Ignore the dogs. <laughs> I'll get the camera now for you. So now every time you hold the camera, it hurts. <laughs> I'll turn up the blur, maybe. See better then. Oh, that went down. Don't know that. There you go. Wanna come and get some food? Come and get some food. food. Oof. Just gotta wait this out. Hmm. Come on, we both really want some food. You just saw the food, you know you want it. Look at her over there. <laughs> After this, we'll feed the little slings. Hmm. No, she doesn't want to move. I guess we'll check on her in a bit. She'll find her food in her own time, but we will close this off and put her to the side. Oh, that's fine. The tongues would just slightly move out of the way, wouldn't it? Alright, you want to hold this while I feed the uh, slings? Alright, so in here we have the Brazilian little white who has recently molted. So um, that was a while ago, so uh, we're going to see if this one eats. And we're coming, uh, you. There you go. So we open this one up. There we go. You can see in the top there. Oh, yeah, not that. There you go. You can see it right there. Just a little wee thing. Alright, now we're going to add our legs in. Now, she is probably the biggest one of the lot. That leg here. She is the biggest of them, so I should do her. I uh, don't think we're going to see them eat on camera, unfortunately, because they are a sling, so they take their own time to do it. So we will see this one in a bit. There we go. That's the Brazilian red and white. Now we will do the dwarf pink leg. Oh, nope. This is the Trinidad of Tiger, actually, who has completely buried herself. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make a little entrance for me to get in there. We're going to open this up. The hair is going everywhere. <laughs> there we go, we open this up. So these guys are fast, um, but like to be in the dirt, so most likely we'll just hide away, where the dwarf pink leg will most likely adventure outwards. So I'm going to try and find a place where I can put a little hole in to put the food in. Oh, come on, come on, fish. Come on. 
Get off the cones. Thank you. And I'm gonna put leg in. And I'll probably give you the smallest leg because I'm the smallest one. Go right by the bow entrance. Hopefully, she finds it. There we go. Hopefully, she gets that food and enjoys it. There we go. You can see it up close here. Right down there. Just a wee little thing right down there. <laughs> it's super awesome and super cute. So there we go. Take the camera again. And get ready for it. <laughs> and here we go. So uh, now we're gonna do the dwarf pink leg. Which is a lot more interesting because the uh, Shadow Dog Tiger hides away first, whereas the Dwarf Pink Leg is a bit different. It's more curious, it molts out a lot more and stuff like that. I've already had it try to escape a ton. So, yeah, it's right down there. Hello to the people watching, I see your name showing up. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, where are the tongues go? Right there. So, I'm going to try and open this without it trying to escape. Chances are it will definitely want to, given its species. We'll put leg in there, and there you go. It will obviously go for that leg and find it itself. But there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those legs. It is so, so cute. I love this species so much. But yeah, let's put the lid back on before it decides to actually jump out. Which is something we don't want. We don't want a loose sling in the house. Especially when we've got crazy dogs in our house. So there we go. That's all slings dealt with. All done done. I might actually add some water into these enclosures actually. Because they seem a bit dry. But since they've got moss in there, I only have to add a tiny, tiny little bit. That's all that really needs to be done. So I'm going to open this up again. Careful where she is. Gonna add a tiny bit of water in the corner. I'm gonna make sure this is a out. So I'm gonna squeeze. There we go. That's all it needs done. Otherwise, we will end up drowning them. So there we go. All done. Oh, she's moving around. There you go. You see her moving around there. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. Their movements are insane. Oh, she's moving around again. Super cool. They're like just beautiful species. I would definitely recommend people getting a dwarf pink leg if you can handle like the boltiness and the curiosity of them. But wow, just so beautiful. But there we go, uh, that is all the slings done and dealt with, so we don't have to worry about them now. So I'll put those to the side. All done and dusted. So the white knee, has not come to get her food yet, but don't worry, that will happen eventually, hopefully. And we're gonna get a couple of, ooh, actually this one looks really nice. Uh, yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, it looks super awesome, that one. Oh, I can't see it that well, turn that off. There you go. You can see it with the light there. Oh, look at all that webbing, that is so cool. Uh, do you wanna see if this one eats? Yeah, yeah you can just get a small one. Yeah. And while she gets a roach, I'm going to quickly tell you guys about the giveaway that we're doing. So on the 17th or 18th, we'll be doing a Christmas giveaway live on this group itself. The reason why I say uh, the 17th or the 18th, because it depends on the actual mailman delivers our uh, mystery boxes. Because sometimes they can't wait until like 4 o'clock or even later. And so uh, what we're going to do is if they show up, then we're going to open up the boxes. Try not to... Um, surprise ourselves with what's going on lid falling and then keep checking on them and like make sure that they're okay check one of them if that's alive then the rest should be alive and then the next day in the morning we will do a live stream just as soon as possible to make sure that we can check on the rest of them yes. so yeah if you want to enter in that competition you can do right now on the channel uh, which is my 100 subscribers giveaway Check that out. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. We love challenges to be entered in. You'll be winning a 10% gift card for these crypto crates and also one of my own stickers, which is actually I'll show you right now. These are my first ever stickers. 
at my first ever, you'll be winning these. You'll get five of these stickers, which is going to be awesome. So I'll be mailing them out to everyone. So just so you know, if you do want any of the any of the like stickers, you will have to give me your address too. Just so you know, that's a thing. So yeah. But yeah, you ready? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, you want to hold this real quick while I insert it? See how she reacts to this. Oh, she come, she comes out of her when she does. Oh, went right back in. <laughs> when I'm doing water, she come, comes out further. Oh, water's a bit different, isn't it? Then it's a mm. lid. Right. Well, I was doing the lid. Uh, let's anyway. put her closer to over here so the light can see her. Because if I do with the uh, camera light, it'll just won't look as good. Won't look as good. Right. So I turn that on. Actually, no, that looks good there. Yeah, if you do it there. Then you have to do it there. Yeah, don't worry. You got to just try and put it in the webbing. Even if you just push it through his webbings. <laughs> I think if you touch his webbings, it'll come up. Oh, it's starting to go back down again. Yeah, just push it down into its bow. It's scared at the moment. <laughs> just push it down. Make sure to keep your tongues tight so you can push it down easier. Yeah, you're good. It's just backing up. It's not coming out at all. Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Didn't come up at all. I guess I'll have to see later on if sheets or not. Yeah. But there we go. So she break down in this corner here. Just right down there. She looks so cute though. Yeah, but there we go. That one's that one's fed. So we'll check on that one in a bit to see if it's eaten or not. Uh, White knee still has not eaten. Lovely. So we'll put her back. Um, I'll try and grab her like this. So there's nothing in this uh, enclosure beneath, so we'll just go put her back. There you go. Is she reacting to that? No, she did not react at all. Okay, fine. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not coming out this corner. Alright, which one are we doing next? Do you want to do this one? Yeah, I'm going to do Ivy. Oh, okay. You want to get a roach for her? Uh, yes. Yeah. We want to the curly hairs that uh, we have are... They like make entrances and they basically block themselves in and it's not like they're even like in plume or anything they just do that for the hell of it oh i'm running out of air this is so exhausting i'm so glad that she's getting the roaches because I to, i'm too lazy for that <laughs> getting all the roaches is a, a, a tough thing but there we go in the meantime look at this little guy how's it going <laughs> oh look at him Super awesome. And uh, this lizard over here, um, a, his uh, holder broke for his bulb, so he has no heating at the moment, unfortunately. So he's in his hiding. He uh, did actually come out. He's been going out around sometimes, which is unusual because usually when his light goes out, he hides all the time. But he's been going out and about, so that's nice. But he won't eat without it. I do have new bulbs for him, which is great. It's just the holder itself broke to make the bulb work, which is unfortunate, so. Yeah, so, I'm gonna have to get a new one of them, but I have no idea where he could be in here. But he was up this morning, because I know he's still in here, and I know he's still alive. <laughs> he has survived, because his species doesn't require heat, um, heat all the time. They have very low heat tolerance. So, he's fine in there without the heat, it's just, he won't eat without it. So, he, he he's a bit fat at the moment, so he'll be fine, but, Soon we're gonna get the holder for it and then plug in the bulb. But there we go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Here we are. Keep touching the tongues as well, which is not helping. <laughs> Just be careful that it does have legs on it so it might still run away. Just pull them apart. How to do with your small hand? Oh, that's fine. Just give it to her like that then, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You're butchering it. <laughs> Just give it to her like that. Uh, yeah. Or we can feed it to Eclipse. 
No, if you want to. I think, I think I really would eat it. Oh, okay. Well, she's hungry, she can eat it. Okay, dokey, we're gonna feed the curly hairs now. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, one curly hair at the moment, and then go to the next. Why do we have to grow? Because she's like the biggest, so. Uh, not exactly the biggest. Well, I've got bigger tarantulas. The biggest one I have. Yeah. And she's opening it up. Go. Yeah. We don't really expect these tarantulas to like bolt out because uh, right in this area. Oh, she's really? She's moved? No, she's continued her borrow. So it starts here, then she's put it around. Oh, okay. Do you want to like turn her around then? Like that? Yeah. Oh, there's really, really the entrance. There's the entrance right there. Okay, that's good. Then you can just put the foot through the one so you'll realize it and then go to it. Okay, I'm just going to <laughs> no idea if she'll be interested, but you know. Oh, she's all the way down there. Yeah, if you put her, it here, she would have seen it. She'll come right there, she's right down there. Mm. Yeah, she's found it in here in time. Yeah, there you go. We shall leave that in there uh, for 24 hours, and then if she hasn't eaten it, we'll just take it out. Uh, regardless of we're eating or not, we will take it out. So, so we're going to prevent mites and moles and everything else. Yep. Alright, there you go. That's one curly hair done. You want to get another itch for her? And I'll open this up. So this is Forrest, our other curly haired tarantula that my sister has. Open it up. So she has basically like gone all over the place. Like you would have no idea where she is. I know, but like you might not know that as well. You could have no idea where she could be. In this enclosure, it just could be anywhere. So we're gonna have a nice time finding her. Okay, don't keep going back around. Look for her in there. You good? For the witch? Hello to everyone in the chat. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just trying to share real quickly into other groups that were live. Alright, you got this? Alright, you're gonna have to look for her first. I think if I finish that, it's gonna run away. I don't know. As long as it's on its back, it must have run. Oh, he gives up with that night. Mm. Sure. She's going to be searching for the curly hair. Before we try anything to put the food in without knowing where it is. No. I think she was in this There's so much dirt in there and it's webbing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, but there's some webbing in here. Just be careful that she might bolt out. So, if she does, be ready with the lid. I don't know if you have to use all the tongues, but I use them to smell it. Yeah. Just in case, like, just step around as well, just in case you pop that anywhere else. I'm going to make a new side. It's a tree for a sling curly hair currently at the moment. <laughs> Damn. 
That is difficult to do. Yeah, just start to throw a little thing in there. At least you got my light though. Not that it's in the dark of the tube. Okay. <laughs> I can't get much elsewhere. Can you find it? Nope, there's literally so much dirt in there. Want me to try? Yeah. Yeah, I think we need a second. I'm trying to put it to all like, the trash papers and stuff like that so that they know that we're alive. People know that we start live streams every two weeks. Alright, you wanna hold this? And I will search for a leak curling hair. I hope I don't need any. Okay. Hmm, so I need to heat out the phone with her hands. I think she was in that tube somewhere. It's okay, I'm just stepping around. Just in case. If you see it, let me know. Because you might see it before I do. And you want to switch places real quick? Yeah, let's see if I can. I think it is on the way. I think it was in here. Hmm. Yeah. You're right about mm. needing bigger tongs but small ones at the same time. Longer tongs but small. I don't need longer tongs, I need something like the width. Like um something that can grip easier, like bigger tongs. Uh. Okay. I can pull this out somehow, but like I need bigger tongs that can do it. This. Can you use the bigger tongs to stick up there? Without going too far in? It's the, it's the thing of like angling it. Oh! There she is! Oh, I'm gonna make sure that she doesn't try to escape. Where's the lid? She's right there. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, she just went back in. Oh, bless. Probably because of the light. We will put her li her little hide back. Because we have to make sure that she was in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You, she, she you can slightly see her in there. You can see her little butt. Very hard to see her butt because it blends in the dirt. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, her. she's moving around. Yeah. Get her with this just in case. Mm. Yeah, she's coming out. Oh, she got scared. Just be careful, she might come out the other end. It's okay. I'm gonna pull her back. There we go, I'll put you back. So that was just to make sure that she was still alive and that she was okay. Now that we know that she's still alive and okay, we're gonna be able to feed her. So, you got her right, Freddy? Do you wanna feed her or me? Uh, I'll feed her. You can actually wash places. Make sure that she doesn't like come bolting out or anything like that. And off you, there you go. Wait, wash her places. There you go. Just now that we know that she's in there. Ready to feed her? Yep. The tube isn't being really fully, fully put back, but I know. I mean, it's in the same location. She has more room to go around the back and stuff. Let's see if she grabs it. Is it going in the right direction? Just be mindful that she comes out the back. She's 
He's a bit further down in the burrow. So just be careful of the bash. Not that I can see it very well. Yeah. Just try. <laughs> No movement so far. I don't know, I don't know, Whitney, look at something. Whitney is moving a bit. Oh, they can see it, let go now. Maybe we'll see her eat. While oh, waiting on the other curly hair. You can find out she doesn't eat what the curly hair does. Lovely. It's probably because I'm crazy on it. Let's go on again. No? Oh, I can barely see anything. He's like doing nothing. Oh, let us see you eat. The roach is moving around. <laughs> this is so difficult to show you guys. <laughs> Trying to move this and close up the way. See if I can get a better angle. Come get some food! Food right there. Don't be careful like that. I'm just going to move it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know it's an inch. <laughs> My goodness, this is a big bit. Hmm. Maybe we'll see her eat, maybe we we'll won't see her eat, but uh... She was moving around a bit, which is good. Here she is. So hopefully, uh, we'll see her eat in a bit. And then this is the curly hair down here. Oh! Maybe we might see her eat, maybe we might see her eat. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Come down this way. Come on, come get it. Come get the food. Come get it. Come on, you got this. Come get the food. Oh, oh, she's realizing it. Will she take it though? Come on, give us our first takedown of the day. Come on. Come on, do it. He's so awesome if he did. Come on, do it. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, d down into our burrow. Oh my lord. There we go. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. That was epic. At least she got that down. Wow. Our first takedown of the day. There we go. Hello Matt, welcome to the stream. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. You literally just missed an amazing takedown by the white knee. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Damn, well she's going to be eating that now. And now we're still waiting on the curly hair down here to be able to eat. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. That was really cool from the takedown there. Oh, got lots more to feed still. Maybe you want to poke the uh, roach back into, well, further into the hide. Maybe so she'll eat it. Hmm. I don't see her. Maybe because the roach is more, you know. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I don't see any slavery down there. Mm. But she looks bigger, doesn't she? Yeah, the curly maybe. hair looks bigger. And I think you're right that she molted, maybe? Because uh, she blocked herself off after like one feeding. And she was kind of thinking that maybe she was in pre molt And maybe it's possible because she looked bigger. Which yeah, is I can't nice. tell her size. She was in between me. Oh, I, I could tell. I could tell. She looked bigger to me. Hmm. Okay, she's, she's down somewhere else. Or not interested in the food. Oh, I just took that plant out. Whoopsies. Sorry. I'll put it back. Sorry for vandalizing things. <laughs> But there we go. Hopefully we'll see that one eat. Uh, do you want to leave it be and just let it um, go? Uh, yeah. And then just wait it out and then just see if she'll eat later on. Okay, yep, so now we've got a uh, sun tiger to feed as well. I'm not sure if I'll feed my Brazilian in black yet. Because she's right in the corner there. And as soon as I take this off, she might want to, you know, escape. Um, so I'm going to give her more time to settle into this enclosure first before I feed her. She does have a big bite, so she'll survive without that. So, you want to do the sun tiger? She's getting it there. The sun tiger. Are you feeding her or am I doing it? Uh, you're probably going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> her tarantula, but I'm going to sacrifice my life for her. Lovely. I know, but she's much smaller. She's much smaller than um, the sun tiger. Yeah. Well, maybe that might change now, but yeah. might be the biggest one. Yeah, okay. She's just getting a roach right now. Yeah, that one. Okay, you can pre kill it for me. She's just chipping. <laughs> you pre kill way differently more than I do. Yeah, she did. Yeah? Did that become a nice Yeah, I think I'll do. You pre kill so differently than I do. Alright, give me a second. I'm just going to advertise some other groups as well that might be interested in our live stream. There we go. Alright, thank you to everyone who's joining and uh, commenting down in the comment section. I do see your comments, I'll reply and everything, so don't worry, you worry. Right, um, Ooh, that's a bit big for it. Yeah, I think we'll do. Okay. Right, so I'm going to sacrifice my life now. Okay, here, you want to take the camera? Actually, let me just, one second. <laughs> let me just turn this over so you guys can have a better look. There you go. Right, so, oh, here we go. So this is the sun tiger that my little sister has. She got it for her birthday. And I'm the one that's going to feed it, apparently. I'm going to try and take up some of these webbings. Because you can't feed her otherwise. Uh, she's not in pre -molt. Uh We've only fed her once. So she should not be in pre -molt. Didn't look in pre or anything like that. Oh, you see her? See her legs? Oh, yeah. I, I saw her legs there. I see her little toes. Let me get the roach. See her two little feet. Oh, I can split a little bit. Eh. This way can get her Oh, I see her little butt. See? Great, so cute. Oh, this should be quick though. I have it the wrong way, so I'll just put it in there. Make sure it doesn't come out when I'm doing this. <laughs> Can I get some food? Sorry guys, you might not be able to see what's going on. 
Be back up and turn to the side, maybe. The other side. Might be able to see then. Yeah, there you go. You can see there. Mm. Is there food? No, there is food in here. Because you're just scared of it. She's a, she's a sun tiger. I don't think she'll be scared of this. Oh, I see a leg. I see a leg. I saw a leg for a second. It's hard because I can't see because you're in my way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oop, right, I just closed on its own. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I don't have to get it back out. You'd have to back out because I can't see anything. Try and get this again. <laughs> Take a piece of piece out with it. Can't see no, don't escape. Stop trying to escape, please. You have a plan here. I'm trying to do the You are a sacrifice. Yeah. I'm trying to get the blow in as much. This is what it's like trying to feed a sun tiger sling. Maybe I'll take it a minute like this. Do I have to like, open this up more? Is that good? Can you see it in yep. there? I can see it. Okay. Coming out at all? I can't see to the roach. Ah. <laughs> Come on. This roach is like taking every piece of like fabric it can. Every piece of dirt. Oh, this is bad. I could see it. Oh, come here. Can't see anymore. No, I can't. Damn. This is like our second attempt trying to feed the sun tiger. Yeah, I can't see if I can see him. Oh. Make sure if he's probably able to see her. Because I don't want to accidentally poke her. I cannot see. Oh, I see her. She's coming out? Nope. Okay. I can see her little things. <laughs> see her little things. Yep. I'm trying to turn the rope so it can go into the burrow, but it's like not working with me. I put it he's attached. If that rope is just going to walk out those webbings, oh my goodness. It's not part of the plan! Dude, come back here! No! It's not part of the plan! Oh, I don't know. Is it comments I need to see? Can I look like the like, comments? Wonderful live feed. Thanks for always making it enjoy enjoyable. Thank you so much. We're glad that we can make it enjoyable for you guys. <laughs> Alright, we're trying our best here. This is like hard work at hand. I can never know when she's actually like going to grab it because... The roach grabs the floor and I'm pulling away and I'm like, is that her grabbing the roach or is the roach grabbing the ground? Oh my goodness. And don't worry, this isn't at all um, harming her. She's in the burr herself. We're only trying to like get to the entrance because she's rubbed herself off. 
So if you had a triangle that webbed the entire enclosure, you would have to break up some of those webbings anyhow. So that's basically what we're doing here. We're not putting the rope into her burrow, we're just putting on the outside because she can come and get it herself if she wanted to. No idea she's coming to get it. I don't think so. I don't think she's interested in the food. Can't see her in there. Mm, damn. She might have went further out of her bed. Mm. Don't know. I'm trying not to like break off too much webbings more than I have to. Let me see on the camera and see if I can find her. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a giant pit down there. <laughs> can't even see it from the like, top area. It's like a giant pit. <laughs> Damn. Unfortunately, I can't see her there. I don't really know what else to do, um, because uh, if she's not coming out for the food that's like right by her burrow, then I don't know, if, I don't think she might want to eat them. But there's not much else you can do otherwise. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even on there. Oh, that's going in her burrow. I just let go, whoopsies. What? <laughs> Guess they gave me a heart attack. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think she's hungry, and that's still in her more. Oh, I didn't mean to let go of it, my goodness. Okay. So that was what I meant not to do. You can put it by the burrow entrance, just don't let go of it to the point where it goes in her burrow. That was on me, my mistake, damn. I actually didn't let go of it. Oh, but there she is. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, now you can actually see her though. Yeah, me too. I don't know why. Yeah, you can finally see her now. Oh, I'm shaking. That terrified the living hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the uh, curly hair still hasn't got its food yet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, we're already planning on rehousing this sun tiger anyhow, so this is fine. We're planning on rehousing her anyway into this container right here, so. <laughs> that roach can live in there, don't worry. Uh, we'll be rehousing her anyway, so. Oh, my goodness, there we go. Yeah, we won't be doing that on live stream, unfortunately. And excuse the dogs barking in the background. They have seen the cats that we have. <laughs> but there we go, we'll be rehousing her anyway. Um, we'll be doing that for a video. Not sure if we'll be doing this for a video, rehousing her, but we'll have to see if that happens or not. But, um, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh Sleeper's still barking. She has one hell of a voice. <laughs> Lieber, no! Oh, that worked. <laughs> but there you go, you can finally see her. Wow. Super beautiful tarantula. There we go, you can see her right there. I wonder what gender she's gonna be. Mm. Oh, okay, but don't worry guys, we'll be rehousing her anyway. I guess it just made it easier on us now that she's already out, so. We will feed, we will rehouse her off stream because we want to make for that for a video probably. But yeah, um, we got we others to feed now. Yeah, we have the phone with us, so we will do that. Um, but we will leave this be. I just realized I left a gap that she probably could have gotten out of. Whoopsies. There we go. Oh, we will feed her. Well, uh, rehouse her later today. And uh, yeah, she's not hungry. Yeah, she's not hungry. Oh, she's still like. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. If she goes onto this, that's fine. I'll take the top of this on and then just try and transfer it into that enclosure there. So there we go. 
Oh, there we go. Alright, is there anyone else that we need to feed? Or is that all? Uh, I might not feed asterisks in this live stream because I only re rehoused her recently. So we are going to leave that be, leave her be as well. But yeah, that should be everything, actually. That's all the trenches, all the slings fed. Uh, besides the ones that we did not get to see and the ones I haven't eaten yet, like this curly hair down here. And uh, yeah, we'll see um, what's next to come in, the, in future live streams. My dog is still barking. Uh, amazing live feeding. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you everyone for joining. Like, make sure to join the actual group as well if you haven't yet. Um, and uh, future giveaways to happen in the future as well. So, if you're on the channel, which is Cornish Gems and live stream, well, not live stream, uh, giveaway happening right now where you can enter in. And all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. We love tarantulas to be entered in, and you will be able to win my first ever custom sticker designs and 10% gift card for Lee's Creature Crates. So thank you to Lee's Creature Crates for that, because that was an amazing offer for him. So I really appreciate it. But yeah, you can enter that in right now. Uh, you have about a week to enter in left. So um, the live stream for the Christmas giveaways, where winners will be announced, will be the either the... 17th or the 18th depending on when the mystery boxes show up because obviously uh, getting near the Christmas time uh, per Packages might be delayed and um, Stuff like that. So that's the only reason why we're picking on two different dates here Bye for now uh, Thank you guys so much. Yeah, so that will be the end of this live stream and we'll see you guys in another one soon How will we turn this way lighting's better this way? <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you guys in another live stream soon. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the YouTube channel and also make sure to become a member on this group because we're always doing live streams uh, like all the time. It's like fun stuff to do. So yeah, we will see you guys in the next live stream. Uh, take care. Uh, take care of your spiders. <laughs> Feed them rightly and don't put the roach in the hide. That's the lesson we've learned today. Yeah, that was on my bad. I accidentally let go of the roach. I talked about not that doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Gave me a heart attack. So you don't ever put a roach in a, a trench's hide. Put it in the outside and then just see what happens. Uh, if he doesn't want it, then just leave it be. But we were idiots, so but mostly me, I should say. I was the one doing it, so. Yeah, we'll see you guys in another live stream soon, which will be in about... Actually, this should be about next week, shouldn't it? Next week will be where we're doing the Christmas live stream. Where we'll be picking winners for who has won in the uh, Christmas giveaway. Also, if you are joining that live stream and you don't end up being the winners, don't worry if you are in chat, I will pick out winners through there as well just because I want to uh, make sure the people who are interacting with us and stuff get some uh, lovely stickers as well. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next live stream very, very soon, which is happening probably the 17th or the 18th, whichever day that might be, we will let you guys know. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye! Bye! <laughs>